Hello and welcome back today for a brand new video. I have for you the ColourPop Lucky Penny Collection. I will be sharing with you guys my thoughts on this one, a new release from ColourPop. So if you're ready for some more ColourPop reviews, let's go ahead and get started. All right, ColourPop did send this collection my way. I have to say when I saw this come out, I was a little underwhelmed with it, if I'm not gonna lie. I just didn't, it didn't seem like something that I necessarily needed in my collection, but I still did want to review it for you guys, try it out, tell you how I feel about the formula. I kind of have mixed reviews on this collection, so stay tuned for that. I am also gonna show you a tutorial on how I got to this eye look. I tried out all of the products, and um, I'm gonna swatch everything as well. So as of right now, I do not know exactly the release date on this one. I'm assuming it is gonna go live tomorrow, which would be the 21st, which is a Thursday. Normally their launches go live at 1 p.m. EST or 10 PST. So I'm assuming that's when this collection is going to go up. And let me know down below if you guys were excited about this one. I do think it's kind of just, you know, a little bit boring for me, but I do think it's a fun idea. I like the idea behind it. And um, I don't know, it just feels like to me, this kind of seems similar to some other other palettes. And I'm sure you could dupe this within your own ColourPop collection. But if you wanted, you know, an orangey palette curated in your collection with this penny theme, then you could definitely grab it. Here is a look on the packaging. Very cute. It has like this frosted look to it. Um, I think they did a really good job with the packaging on this one for sure. Here is a look at the inside of the palette. And then you do have the names here on the back. So here is a look at the swatches from this palette. It does have nine different colors and inside of it you are getting four different shimmer shades and then the rest of them are matte shades. Next up in the collection we do have these stick duos. So these have a highlight and then also they do have a blush in them. Again, packaging very nicely done on all of them. They have the names here on the front. It is a little bit raised. I think it's super cute packaging on the entire collection. So I'll show you swatches of each one of the bundles. Here's a look at what the sticks look like similar to the packaging of the palette. They have like this really pretty frosted look to them. This first one is called Good and Copper. So there is a look at Good and Copper swatches. The next set right here is called A Pretty Penny. So there are the swatches of those two face sticks. And then the last bundle here is called My Two Cents. And you have the golden highlight and then the blush right there. And then lastly, a part of this collection, we do have some velvet liquid lipsticks. And again, really cute outer packaging on everything. And here's a look at the packaging on the Lux lipsticks. Again, you have that same frosted look to them. And there are three different colors a part of this line. So the first one there, the lightest shade right here is called Penny Pitcher. Penny Pincher, sorry. And then the second one is Tried and True. And then the very last one is On a Roll. That's the one that I have on my lips right now. So now that you've seen swatches of the entire collection, I'm gonna go ahead and show you how I got this look and I'll show you application of the products. All right, so to start, we're actually gonna go into our blush stick. So I have my base done. Um, I just have foundation and some concealer on and I want to try out some of the light sticks with you guys. The set that I am gravitating towards the most is the My Two Cents set. So we have our blush stick right here. This one is in, mine doesn't have stickers on the bottom, but the blush is called Spot On. And then we also have the light stick as well. Packaging is so cute on these. I love the penny theme. I think it's so fun. But here is what the light stick looks like. So I'm gonna first start with the blush. Like I said, I just have foundation on and then some concealer. I haven't put any powder on yet, so you can kind of see we're creasing a bit. So once I add my powder here, um, we will look a little more put together, but I'm really wanting to try out the blushes first. These blush sticks are not like my absolute favorite formula. I mean, I like them, but I feel like, at least for my preferences personally, like they're not just like, my favorite products. Sometimes I apply them directly like I just did and then other times I'll like put them on my hand first. I feel like when you apply them directly though, like they do end up looking fine. I don't think that they're one that you have to like sheer out first because they are so sheer in formula. A lot of times I feel like they kind of just blend like, yeah, you can like hardly see that. That's what I kind of mean. Um, I feel like they're a more of a subtle blush formula. You really have to add them up if you want, you know, more of a bang with the pigment on them. So there's that shade. Like I said, you can't really see it a ton. So let's actually go into one of the deeper ones just because I want to like show you what I can. So that one on me, as you can tell, it kind of just <laughs> blended into nothing. Sometimes I feel like with these blush sticks, they have to be a little more pigmented. So let's try this one, the Hot Change blush. This one is a little bit more deep. So we'll see if this one has any more 
pigment to it on my cheeks. I am using a sponge too. I feel like if you use a brush, you would get a little more payoff as well, but I prefer actually using a sponge for my cream products. So yeah, like, I, I don't know why, but whenever I use these, I'm just like always underwhelmed. It's like, I feel like it's there, but it's not very noticeable. You can hear my daughter sneeze, <laughs> sneezing in the background, so. Okay, I'm feeling pretty underwhelmed with both of the shades that, you know, we use. These are pretty sheer in my opinion. I don't know how they're supposed to be. I don't have any info on that, but they do seem like pretty sheer. Let's go ahead and use the um, light stick though. And then the light stick I'm wanting to use is the shade Minted. And again, that's from the My Two Cents little bundle here. And I'm gonna use this one just on the tops of my cheekbones. Kind of like a cool iridescent orange. Okay, I feel like that one is showing up pretty good. It's kind of like a subtle play on like a gold. Definitely goes with like the penny theme. I'm gonna add a little here to my nose. I know I'm looking like so dry. I feel like my nose is just like struggling right now. It's very, very dry. But you know, this is real skin. I feel like since I had my daughter, so weird when I had my son, my skin turned oily. And now when I had her, I feel like my skin is like dry now. So it's just like, I can't, I can't figure out what my skin is doing. So this is pretty, I actually really like this color. It's like got like that orangey yellow shift to it, but it's not overpowering. I think it looks really nice on the skin. I'm gonna go ahead and finish the rest of my makeup though. And then we'll start on the eyes and I'll try out the eyeshadow palette. Okay, I am back after applying some powder and I put on some bronzer as well. So you can tell we're a little more evened out, um, but I really can't see the blush now. I feel like it really kind of disappeared. The highlight is definitely still there and I still really think it's pretty, but the blush, I just, for me on my skin tone, I don't feel like this collection is necessarily for me with those blushes. But we are going to move on to the eyes. Here is the Lucky Penny eyeshadow palette. So we're gonna go ahead and try this one out. I did just prep my eyes with my CoverGirl um, Undercover Concealer. You guys always know I use that. So we're gonna go into this first shade here. I'm thinking what brush. I think I'm gonna go in with my um, Crease Creator with my Del 10 Club. And I'm gonna use this first shade. This is called Token. And we are going to just use this as our transition shade. So this palette definitely is giving me like fall vibes. I think it's one of those ones that you definitely kind of can create those fun like orangey fall looks. So I think that's what we're gonna try to do today. So I'm really loosely just gonna blend this all over my lid. Okay, so now that we've got that shade blended, I am gonna go into another blending brush. This one's a little more fluffy. And I'm actually gonna go into the next deepest shade. This one is called Like New, right here, right next to it. And I'm just going to further put this in my crease. And I'm really just gonna kind of build up all of these shadows. Really all I'm looking to do is like just create a really nice brown, orangey moment. So we're kind of just gonna try out all of the colors and give you guys an idea of how they each look on the eye. All right, we've got those two on the lid. Next, we're gonna kind of bring in a little bit more of those like terracotta colors. We're gonna go into coin down here in the bottom. I'm actually just gonna take the same brush. And again, I'm just gonna start to blend that into my crease. You'll notice when I place my colors, I kind of tap them down and then I begin to blend them out. I typically work in like circular motions. I'll go kind of back and forth just until I get the gradient that I want. Next, we're gonna go into the shade Hit It Big right here. And we're gonna actually put this shade all over my lid. So this one has like those tiny flecks that ColourPop does where it has like those little flecks of gold but it's still a matte shadow. So I'm just laying this down to see how that looks. Cause I think this would be a cool look just like, you know, for an orange all matte moment. If you just did the shade with those others all over your lid, I think would be really nice. We are gonna try out the shimmers just to show them, but I think that like a good orange eye, a good matte eye is really nice too. Okay, now we're gonna deepen. We're gonna go into a bullion right here and we're gonna deepen the outer portion here on the eye. That definitely gave us the depth that I was looking for. Now let's try out a shimmer. We're gonna go in to, I'm trying to decide which one I wanna use. I think I wanna use the Making Sense down here. This really pretty like copper shade. I think it will go really nice with this look. So we're just gonna go ahead and tap that on the lid. Feels like ColourPop's typical formula here, nice and buttery. I'm kind of loving this like copper moment. I definitely am getting like penny vibes for sure, which is obviously the theme of the collection. 
All right, and then lower lash line, we're kind of doing to do something smoky, but I don't want it to be as deep as the top. So I'm gonna go into the shade Token first and just smoke that across the lower lash line. And then I'm gonna go into like new right next to that. And I'm just gonna keep this shade just right here in the outer portion. Like I said, I don't want it to get too smoky. So I know it already kind of looks like it is, but I just wanna keep this darker shade out here on the outer portion of the eye. And then for liner, I kind of thought this might be fun. This is from Pacifica. It's one of their vegan um, eye pencils. And I'm gonna use this shade, it's like a pink. I do kind of like that. It's really nice with the orange. And then let's go ahead and add some mascara. I don't think I'm gonna do any lashes. I don't think this look is like screaming for lashes. So I'm just gonna do just mascara today. And I'm just gonna be going in with one of my favorites. This is from Uma Beauty. It's their Drama Bomb Mascara. This has a really nice hourglass wand. Um, I, I love this one. I've almost used up my entire tube. It's nice and lengthening, but it also gives you like really nice curl to your lashes. So after mascara, here are eyes all finished. I have to say I'm liking this look. I feel like it's something definitely very fall-esque. I love the pop of pink. I think it adds something different. So let's go ahead now and try out the lips from the collection. So the lips, a part of this collection are velvets, and I wanna actually just show you swatches of all three of them, why not? So the first one here, this is Penny Pincher. Okay, here we have Penny Pincher on my lips. Let's go ahead and try out the other two. Okay, and then here is a look at Tried and True, and then let's go ahead and try out the very last shade. Okay, and then this is the very last shade called On a Roll. Here is our finished look for the Lucky Penny Collection. Let's go ahead and zoom you out and we can get into my final thoughts. So getting into my final thoughts on the Lucky Penny Collection from ColourPop, do I think that this is like my favorite ColourPop release? Definitely not. Um, but I do think it's, there's definitely a market for this palette in general. I feel like a lot of people do really enjoy these like orange, coppery shades. So I think if you are someone who enjoys that, I think you will like this palette. I do think the packaging is really cute. The names on everything is very smart in this collection. Um, so if this is something that you think that you need in your collection, you can go ahead and grab. I am not mad that I have it. I do think I will use it, especially in the fall time because it is such a pretty fall palette. But would I have picked this up on my own? Probably not. Would it have been one that I would have like needed in my collection? Probably not, but it is a cute palette. And then the um, blush sticks, these for me were a kind of a miss. I didn't actually enjoy either either of the sets that I tried out. I just feel like the blushes on me, like they didn't show up hardly at all. The highlight, however, was nice. I liked the light stick that I did try. Um, I still feel like it gave me a nice, like subtle glow, but I could do without these. So I'd say probably skip if you have a similar skin tone to me. If you're a little bit more fair or deeper, these might work on you better. But on me personally, I just didn't, I didn't have any luck with those. And then the lips were probably my favorite part from the collection. I actually really liked all three of the lip colors. And I really do love the color that I have on right now. This one, again, was called On A Roll, which I think is such a cute name. So this is probably what I enjoyed most from the collection. I do really like the way this feels on my lips. I think it looks nice, pigmented, very nice. So I do really like these. So all in all, you guys will have to let me know what you think on this collection. If you did enjoy this, definitely give it a thumbs up and leave me a comment down below letting me know your thoughts. And I'll see you guys in my next one.